And my colleague Indrajit Kundu is now joining us live from Kolkata. Indrajit, alarming case of negligence from this private hospital in Kolkata. How exactly is the plan? A, a family uh, planning uh, to move ahead. Uh, have they spoken to anyone uh, in the government authorities? And has there been any positive reaction? Well, Ruchika, before I begin, let me just begin with apologizing uh, to Arnab. He can obviously uh, not speak right now, but we have to infringe into, you know, a little bit into his privacy because, uh, you know, that's how we can talk to the family. But, uh, you know, uh, Auntie, tell me, uh, the, gov the uh, hospital says that there is no medical negligence on their part. But are you going to take it up with the police? How are you progressing with this case? Yeah. First of all, I want back my son's original skull. Uh, otherwise, I continue fight. Mm. I think government would take uh, right measures uh, against this uh, medical, uh, this type of medical negligences and irresponsibility of this hospital. Mm -hmm. You say that it is uh, the uh, the hospital authorities have been completely irresponsible, Mr. Chaudhary. Just tell me, uh, we spoke to the hospital authorities. The general manager told us that there is no medical negligence on their part. However, they said that they are ready to compensate you. Are you satisfied? No, no, no. Compensation will not be adequate. Adequate relief. Really. This, uh, the law sustained by us cannot be measured in terms of money. How they can say all these things, rubbish things? Mm. Uh, who has to do? Is he a doctor? It cannot be a doc medical opinion. Mm. That part of a body of a human being has been thrown out like a garbage and they will compensate it. Mm. Did they ever try to get in touch with you, communicate no. to you? No, never, never. Mm. I mean, I mean, our record is with them. But they, during this tenure, one and a half years, they never get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. huh? We are in a position that it is preserved with their uh, OT, as per as certified by them. Mm -hmm. We are in a, we, we thought that it was uh, preserved. Mm -hmm. But when we, do, uh, we asked to get back that uh, bone flap from them, mm -hmm. uh, because for his ensuing craniotomy, craniopracty operation, we wrote a letter on 10th May yeah. and thereafter we, uh, myself I have phoned Dr. Orindam Chanda, the medical super. Several occasions I have phoned, I have personally visited, yes. whenever I, we, I visited there, uh, I, we, we have been avoided yeah. various false pleas and pretext yeah. that conference is going on. Yeah. One day I was told, he never, he never spoken to me, yeah. his security has spoken to me, yeah. he didn't bother to meet me. So you are saying that the basic, uh, you know, standard operating procedures of letting the patient's family know about what is the condition of, a, a, you know, part of the skull which was supposed to be preserved and they had informed you uh, a, a via a letter that they are going to preserve it and you can take it back any time that you feel the requirement. Uh, Ma'am, just tell me, you know, Arnab is lying here on the bed for the past one year. He cannot obviously speak right now. He's immobile. But does he express himself when he listens to all these things? Yes. He, uh, his sense is now developing. He can respond to all this. Yeah, he can, uh, react. He he can, can react. react by uh, crying. Yeah. Or he can, uh, can't speak any, uh, uh, now. He can uh, uh, respond by crying or weeping. Out of some gesture. Uh, Out of some gesture, by crying, he reacts. But he cannot speak right uh, now. His speech therapy is going on, his rehab is going on here. Okay, tell me, what is the kind of intervention that you are looking forward to from the state government? We spoke to the Minister of State for Health, Chandrima Bhattacharji, this morning. She said that this is a private uh, hospital and therefore the state government was in, not in a position to take any step. However, there are other doctors like Dr. Kunal Shah who fought a, a very landmark uh, medical negligence case in the Anuradha Saha death case. And he said that it was incumbent on the doctor to rein in all these private uh, you know, hospitals because uh, they just cannot get away with such crimes. No, licensing authority is the state, as far as I know. The state cannot bypass these. What uh, the Deputy Health Minister has spoken to, I have not heard. But what you are telling, I have just come to know from you, hmm. if it is so, but uh, state cannot bypass their responsibility in this manner. They are the licensing authority. Mm. They can inquire in this matter, mm. and they can, uh, if it is so, they can uh, cancel their license mm. because license is uh, issued by the state. What, what is the what is the kind of punishment or what is the kind of redressal that you are looking forward to from the state machinery? I we want that their license should be cancelled mm. after this 
this sort of uh, unprecedented medical negligence, they, are, they cannot moral right to continue their business. Are you going to file a police complaint yes. against the doctors? Yes, we are, I am going to file. But my utmost priority is my nephew's health. Yes, against all odds, we will take legal measures. So, Ruchika, you can see that's the sense that is prevalent within the family right now. Uh, you know, um, uh, he lost his dad uh, on the very uh, day before he uh, succumbed to his injuries. He was under shock. He fell down from uh, the hospital second floor and that's why he got this injury. And since then he has been immobile. The family says that they are going to take uh, legal action. They are going to, uh, you know, complain, to, uh, lodge a complaint with the police. However, at this point in time, there are two demands. First, strong punishment and action on behalf of the government against this hospital because they say this is a grave uh, case of medical negligence, which of course the hospital authorities have refuted. Indraji, thank you for joining us. Uh, that's a story we'll continue to follow here and also follow the action that's taken in this case. This hapless family demanding justice. They're saying compensation isn't what we are seeking. We want the hospital authorities to be punished.